Well, I have been growing primocane blackberries for about 10 years, and I just found a trait that they have that I am exploiting, I'm capitalizing on, to get me more summer and fall blackberries. So let me show you the trait that I found and how I'm capitalizing on that to bring more production for me this summer. It's working. So what I found, and I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but what I have found is that the primocanes, this year's cane, all of this you see is this year's growth. That's what primocanes do. They grow the first year and produce berries the first year. Floricane type blackberries, which is the majority, will produce on last year's canes. So these are all first year canes. And what I have found is that 99%, almost all of the berries make on the terminal end, the end where the, where the growth tip stops. And they cluster and they're huge and they're big and they're abundant. And this one is about, is about to break. But they make on the terminal ends as a general rule, almost always. Here's another example. This is a lateral, and that lateral is about 30 inches long, but they're making on the terminal end. They're not making up and down that lateral. So there's another terminal end with some new berries on it, uh, a terminal end up there with berries on it. Everywhere you look where there's berries, it's on the very end, the very growth end of the plant. Brand new berries there, uh, just pollinated from the blooms and everywhere you look. So here's what I'm doing differently this year. Last year, um, I wanted to keep everything inside the trellis and I usually prune right at the top of the trellis. So what I would normally do would be to prune this cane, this is a new cane, prune it just above the trellis. But a lot of times when I decide to prune, I'm already seeing blooms up here on top. I want it to be short, so I'm pruning it low. But what I'm doing is losing those berries. I have decided this year, working out great, that if a cane comes up and passes my top wire by quite a bit, then I'll go ahead and cut it off to encourage the lateral growth. But the laterals, when they get 30 inches long like this, normally I would prune them off at about 18 inches, but I'm letting them grow to produce me some blackberries this year. Now, I will come back in here, I'm sure, because I don't want them that long, and to encourage lateral growth, I'll come back in here uh, after these berries have made, because they're only gonna make one set of berries, and I'll cut this back at about 18 inches from where it forks right in there. I'll cut it back, then that will spur lateral growth, which I'm already getting some, but it will spur a lot more lateral growth and then those laterals will likely start blooming and producing berries. So I'll have some fall berries also. These berries typically, when you start getting in the 90s, uh, these Primark Freedoms will stop blooming, stop producing. So that's a good time also to go ahead and prune and tip your canes and encourage that lateral growth because you're not going to get any berries anyway. So if the cane gets out of bounds, I'll go ahead and prune it. But if it's starting to show blooms, I'll leave it alone and I won't prune it simply because I want those blooms to produce berries. Once we're in the middle of summer and I know they're not going to bloom anymore or I see the blooms stop because of the heat, then I can go ahead and start pruning my lateral canes and because they either they have already made the berries or they're not going to make any for the next couple of months anyway till it cools off. So I'll go ahead and prune those, make sure I've got a good watering program, fertilization program, prune those and encourage those laterals to grow. Now most of the most of everything you see really popping up here are laterals. That one there, you can see it's a fork. I pruned it. I pruned it right in there. And I've got a good fork growing right here. I got another one here. And so most everything you're looking at is a lateral. I do have some canes sticking up that need to be pruned, but, um, and it's getting so hot that I don't think I've got a, a chance of getting any berries off 
the terminal end of that cane right there because it's just it's just getting too hot let your canes grow to the top of your trellis to as, as tall as you want them to get whether it be a trellis or whether you're just leaving them uh, to uh, to stand by themselves let your canes get to the point where you want them to get if they're beginning to show blooms I would leave them alone and let the blooms come on let the berries come on harvest those berries and then go back and prune the cane where you want it and encourage those laterals that's what i'm doing and i have gotten so much production this year in the summer so much summer production and much more than i've gotten in previous years again on all these laterals that are coming off and more coming right there young some that are going to be ripe within a day or two so that's a lateral that's a lateral. I've already pruned the top, but I'm letting the laterals grow. I'm letting the laterals get longer than what I would normally would let them get just so I can harvest the berries. And then I'll probably come back and cut the lateral off. You know, you probably don't have to because it's probably terminated. When, once they make the berries, that may be all they're gonna do anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and encourage the laterals by coming in here just behind where the berries made and cutting that and trimming that off. And um, see, I've still got a few blooms, but not many because it's getting hot. This one is broke under the weight. I've already picked a bunch of them right there, and they still got those on there. Uh, that's the only problem. They get so many berries on them, you got to be careful. They'll break. This one's on the verge. It's bending hard. I've already picked a bunch off that, too, and I've still got a bunch on it. Again, a lateral with growth, with berries. This is a, that is a cane, first year cane, and it's beginning to sprout laterals. But I'm gonna go ahead and prune it because it's so warm, I'm not gonna get berries for the next month or two on this probably because it's so hot. So I can, I, I feel like I can prune that and not hurt my production. This one, this cane was so big, it bent and broke. And it's just from the weight of all those berries. I might can salvage that cane. If not, I'll just prune it right there where the break is. Here's another one. That is a lateral. And look at that. I mean, that is just... Don't you look at that? That's an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters long. That is a beautiful, sweet... Sweet, sweet berry. But that's, uh, that's what I'm recommending. It may not be what the, the people that design these plants would recommend. I don't know, but look at that. Look at that cluster. That, that one cluster right there has got about 15 berries on it. Just all up and down there. And because I didn't prune off that lateral, and it's 30 inches long, I should have pruned that lateral right there. But because I didn't, I'm getting all these berries off of it. Probably 20 huge berries. And they'll make good in the summer with the water and fertilized program. But they wouldn't have made had I pruned it before it's time. So that's my advice is let your laterals grow. Now, if it's hot, hot summer, it may not work because they're not going to bloom. But if it's not hot summer, if it's in the fall or if it's in the early spring or early summer, um, before it gets too hot or if your climate doesn't get that hot then let your laterals grow until uh, until you see that terminal end begin to bloom and make you some good berries I want you to look at these I mean that's just that's amazing this is this is three times four times the production I got last year because I did it a different way last year I did it the way I've always done it when the when the laterals got 18 inches long I would prune them off well now I'm not I'm waiting until just I'm waiting to see if they will bloom and bury and if they bloom and start making berries then I leave them alone until they're done and then I uh, and then I'll prune them because they've already made their they've already made their berries I'll prune that one at about 18 inches I'll cut off quite a bit of it 
Now that one's making, got one berry on a lateral, I mean on the lateral itself and not the terminal end. But by and large, most you berries come at the terminal ends. I hope I've made sense here. Just try this. If you want to try it on just one or two plants, let your laterals grow longer than what you really want them to be and see if they won't bloom and produce for you and uh, give you some berries like I'm getting here. Look at that. That is a lateral. It's about 30 inches long and in years past I would have cut it off right there and I would have missed out on all those berries. So don't miss out on the berries. If you don't want to try it on all your berries, I understand. I'm not a doctor of agriculture. I'm just telling you what I found out this year. And as you can see, it is working amazing for me. Look at that cluster. All right, I hope I made sense. So get more berries, especially out of your primocanes. And that's what this refers to is primocanes. First year cane berries. Uh, in past, all berries were floral cane. In the past 10 or plus years, we have had a variety called primocanes. And that's what these are. They make on the primocane, which is the first year cane. But they also will make on this same cane next year. And that's why cutting it off after they've fruited, cutting it off and allowing those laterals to grow will either get you a few more berries this year or will get you a lot more berries next year. How about that? I like it. I'm all about the berries. And we got them. We got them. All right, that's it. We're gone.